Hey there, my name is Emma Jane Unsworth and I am a novelist and screenwriter. My most recent book was called Adults and that's out now. Um, I'm going to read for you today a poem by Anne Sexton who was an amazing American poet and probably one of my favourite poets and this poem is definitely one of my all-time favourite poems. It's kind of my go-to poem when I've run out of sensible things to say of an evening. When I've, There are a lot of friends of mine who've had this poem read to them, either from my phone or from a book in my house, at the end of a very long, drunken evening. Um, because I'm like, you've got to hear this poem, it's amazing, it's about everything. And it is, in a way, about everything, like the best poems are. But I think, for me, it's mostly about women being able to write what they want to write without fear. Anyway, I'll just read it. It's called For John, Who Begs Me Not to Enquire Further. Not that it was beautiful, but that, in the end, there was a certain sense of order there. Something worth learning in that narrow diary of my mind, in the commonplaces of the asylum, where the cracked mirror or my own selfish death outstared me. And if I tried to give you something else, something outside of myself, you would not know that the worst of anyone can be, finally, an accident of hope. I tapped my own head. It was glass, an inverted bowl. It is a small thing to wage in your own bowl. At first it was private, then it was more than myself. It was you, or your house, or your kitchen. And if you turn away because there is no lesson here, I will hold my awkward bowl with all its cracked stars shining like a complicated lie and fasten a new skin around it as if I were dressing an orange or a strange sun. Not that it was beautiful, but that I found some order there. There ought to be something special for someone in this kind of hope. This is something I would never find in a lovelier place, my dear, although your fear is anyone's fear, like an invisible veil between us all. And sometimes, in private, my kitchen, your kitchen, my face, your face. I love that poem so much, especially the bit, the worst of anyone can be finally an accident of hope. That just kind of gets me in the heart every time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Take care. Lots and lots of love.